ashes are an overused poetic trope, thematic shorthand taken to represent impermanence, the fleeting, the faint, the fickle nature of nature, the dying heartbeats, last few breaths before silence, ashes, the reflection of the sun off the moon, the death of stars, the death of passion, the death of a cigarette, of a flame, of being, of course, ashes, the way they float in your eyesight, near, far, fictional. It's almost like you can predict their path of flight, like aimless guardian angels, and you, their lost cause. They are ashes. Make appearance on your forehead every year before Easter. A mass of us reclaiming our only personal spaces for public announcements. A declaration to the world. Ashes jump. Heat and screeches under our feet, moving us ever forward. They pull us off and on subway trains, help us navigate this city as we burrow through its belly. Ashes have fallen from the clouds for the past ten years. Erase the images in our memories like flickering movie projectors in abandoned cinemas. These ashes in our eyes and lungs and hearts that held answers for all the questions we barely had right to ask. Now ashes embedded in our stomach linings and our throats as though the glow of our insides are just so much smoke. These ashes that we hold in our hands, they slip through our knuckles, catch the air they escaped from and fly, imprisoned again by their own birth and rebirth. Ashes in the sky, the ensuing clamor and calamity the rare calm air through which each smoldering droplet cut and burned this life these times skies are now black the world is at war and we have risen broken from these ashes